people of our age, we have plenty of, plenty of time, far more time than people like you who are working. We have time to stand and stare and to listen. We've grown up with it. Yes. All your life through. Yes. Birds. Right. My father bred canaries. He had a flight, as you call it. He made a colour called flight. Birds are creatures who give you peace and quiet and beauty and music. The little bird told me Nature and music. Have you heard a rook calling or whatever they do? Well, when it's in a circle of about 20 or 30 or even more perhaps at the top of the tree, it's just awful. It, it's absolutely terrifying. And I wondered what it was. And then suddenly I saw something in the middle. And then my husband came at about quarter past 12 by that time. And I called him up quickly. He said, Leslie, that's what it's called, a rook's court. So I asked him what he knew about it. He said if one of them was being wicked or done something or, you know, being not doing something that the other rooks didn't like, they hold a court and they peck it to death. I didn't actually see that, but I heard the row. We went down about half past five the next morning into the wood and there was a devil. Nature and music. Listening to birds, apart from the different notes of each individual species, it's just music. Cuckoo is a pretty bird, she hovers as she flies. Nature and music. The robin is the very best of songs. I'll go and take in it. And I'll say, Stan, stop it. You get home from Canada. Well, the other lad, he said, he am frightened and he ran away. Well, if he didn't get a hold of the bird and he pulled his neck, oh, yeah. it was dead. Uh -huh. In a cry. Nature and music. If he flew into the wood, he always came back. And after about 18 months, he came back with another woman, which was his girlfriend, and she stayed with us for six months. Jean sits in her chair most of the day because her legs are bad at the moment and she just enjoys the birds. Nature and music. You see, here, the last bird to bed is the robin. The first bird up is the blackbird. The earliest bird away to bed is the starling. But during the day they give you all sorts of different notes. I'll tell you what I miss, and miss badly, the lark. I mean, I knew the birds were there, and I liked them, and they were nice, but didn't take any notice. Nature and music. There was one cock pheasant, and he had four lady friends. 
and used to, used to get up to roost on the, the big, big fence in between the two gardens. <laughs> you were sitting asleep one day and fell off. Nature and music. My granddad Graham Pigeon won the race from Amber to France. And they only had a good lovely ball followed. And then the photo was taken. My mother would have liked the photo, but the, the son got the photo of the pigeon. And they were quite, quite pleased with that. But they had to stop it because they, they had to go to the cooperative store for the stuff. It was getting too dear, you see, they couldn't afford it. But the pigeon was the best lovely bird. Nature and music. There was a line of little birds and they were singing away. And then a fellow passed me and I says, are you the one who looks after the birds? He said, yes. Well, I says, I'm interested. Well, he says, I'm putting one out. And he put it on my hand, and for a little thing, he just whistled his sign away. But he says, there's a one in there, a bad bugger. He says, don't eat the lot, just paid to. So what kind of bird that was, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't want that one. Nature and music. My kitchen house I open wide and set their pigeons free. They fly o'er the fields on every side and light on the tallest tree. But when they arrive from their merry flight, I shut the door. They say good night, Kuru, 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 Kuru. No, I think bird sound is one of our privileges and we're very lucky to have it.